thanks for joining me for what's new with right click tools 4.2 and we're going to be talking about system information tool in this tool you are now able to select several machines at the same time and pull it up and it will give you an overview of all of these machines in a tabulated form here so let's go ahead and let this launch so this is the new ui that's come out recently that we've been implementing uh, as you can see now it lists all the different uh, device numbers here or the count so we've i selected 19 computers total and uh, none of them were off otherwise you'd see some stuff here in the error section uh, but here we can see the different operating system and os builds os versions and operating system names that i have in the list that i selected uh, when we go to hardware we can uh, go ahead and see the different models that I have. So as you can see, almost everything I've got are virtual machines. And then I've got one-offs of several different models for my demos here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that one. I opened one a little earlier that I already have some things open on. So here under applications, uh, it gives a list of all the different applications that are installed, which is why you can see this here is quite long. Uh, so sometimes, it's handy you can sort things so if you want you can sort on publisher you'll find all the different um, adobe software that might be plaguing your environment uh, or the different architecture if you have if you're looking for a specific architecture um, for versions uh, you can see that it, you might have uh, some of the same software but different versions installed uh, and then uh, device counts this one's kind of handy if you want to see if you've got uh, the same software on, on several machines here or if you're expecting a specific software to be on all the machines you highlighted uh, this is a good quick easy way to double check on that so this tool can be used for a, a lot of different audit and compliance type things where you just want to if you have like a collection of all the same machine you could right click on it and then you could pull it up and dig through here for instance um, if you went to the driver section and you were all on the same hardware model, you could then check to see if the the counts were staying consistent, which should be pretty much the same for all of them. Um, because uh, what I'm looking at is all different models, I'm getting device counts of one for each one because they are all unique drivers for each machine. So let's head back up here. Uh, Windows updates. This year will show all the different uh, updates that have been installed on all of the machines. And then you could dig through. If you needed to, you could go in here and you could start uh, digging down, right clicking on stuff here as well. Uh, under services, this will give you a list of all the services on all the machines. Uh, in this example here, I'm looking at the BitLocker service. And you can see on most of my machines, it stopped, most are VMs. And then I've got it running here on one of my VMs, which I set up special, and it's running here on my ZBook. I've got BitLocker enabled as well. Got a couple other devices that I probably should enable BitLocker on. Going down to user profiles, uh, it gives me a list of all the profiles he here in the environment. And then if you've got any like weird one-offs, you can go ahead and see like where have these uh, different accounts logged in. And it gives you the names of the computers so i i can see here that the library users only logged on to miss latitude 7480 and the signage is only logged on to the pc08 uh recyclops is logged on to pc01 along with jim helpert uh, the local groups membership uh i like to use this one for auditing the administrators group i can see which different items are inside of the administrators group on those computers in case uh, anything weirds going on a different random name would show up here and then I could go ahead and if I needed to I could go ahead and remove that and it would now be gone um, batteries this here just gives an overview of all the batteries you can see each machine and the different uh, battery name different type of battery it is if it knows what kind it is that they show up here so uh, this has been the overview for the system information tool. I hope you find it useful and uh, definitely take it for a test drive. 
it in the right click tools. Thanks.